Okay, part two. So, I put it back together now. Just slides back in, a couple screws. I had a cup over here that I usually put the screws in if I'm just doing it on the cheap. Usually I have a little magnetic uh, collector that just that holds the, the screws. I got it for free at Harbor Freight. But anyway, so you leave it unplugged, like I said, for about three minutes. Most guys recommend one minute. I like to look good a little extra. I'm just going to plug it in now. And what we're looking for are these lights. It's going to happen here. Now, once to the left, one, two, three to the right, then left, then right. Ah. <laughs> no lights. Ah. Most likely it's going to be the motherboard, unfortunately. But it should have popped up on one of these. It should have lit up, and then we could have just spun this to the right around to where we needed to get it. It's either rinse or spin. I can't remember now. I'm going to see if I can find a YouTube video and link it here to you. Um, there might be somebody who's made one, especially on these Whirlpools. Like I said, I'm not a fan. The motherboard is uh, kind of expensive. Let's see if I can get this thing to come on at all. Uh, it's horrible. Oh, I hear a click. There we go. Let's try this again. One. One, two, three. Left and right. Usually these should all be lighting up. I think they either go zigzag back and forth or they all actually all light up. And then uh, it'll stop on one. Then you just turn the, the dial around. At least the light came on. When you come on before. Usually you don't, you don't have to press the start, guys. I think the motherboard may be bad on this particular model. And like I said, they're about 300 bucks. Wash machine's not even worth that. Luckily I got two extra ones. But I hope this tip helps. And like I said, um... Unfortunately, let's see if the nope. This should be changing. Right now it's just full of water. <laughs> I got the clothes out. I actually did take the clothes out, but it has a lot of water in it. I'm gonna have to drain it and actually just switch it out tonight. I didn't want to do that at this late hour. Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Trying to wash some clothes for tomorrow. But uh like I said, I will look and see if somebody has a, um, a YouTube video that's up that I can probably tag to this one so you guys can uh, familiarize yourself. If that does not work, we got water everywhere. Pulling those clothes out. Anyway, this thing's a mess. Um, if that doesn't work, I'll look and see if I can find a... A, uh, a manual for that, for the, the calibration, for the Whirlpool calibration, and I'll just read it off and add to this, this video. One way or another, I'll get the rest of the information for you guys. Check in the description if you don't see anything past this point, past this video. Definitely look in the description of this video, and you'll find something. Okay, thank you guys. Appreciate you watching.